Did you know there are more people in China with genius IQs than there are uh, people of any other kind in the United States? Well, that can't be true. It is true. What would account for that? Well, for a start, there are a lot more people in China. But here's what I want to know. How do you distinguish yourself in a population when the majority of people got 1,600 on their SAT? I didn't realise that they took SATs in China. I'm not talking about China anymore. I'm talking about here. You got 1,600. And you didn't send in an acapella group. Does that mean you actually got nothing wrong? Or were you row crew or you invent a $25 PC? Or you got a final club. No, you get to a final club. Exactly. <sighs> I like guys who row crew. Oh, well, I can't do that. And yes, it does mean I've got nothing out of the test. Have you ever tried? I'm trying now. To row crew. To get into a final club. To row crew. No. Are you whatever? Crazy? Mark, seriously, sometimes you say two things at once and I, I, I'm not sure which one we're talking about. Have you ever met a guy who rose crew? No. They're a lot bigger than me. I mean, they're world-class athletes. And you said that you like guys who row crew, so I assumed that you met one. I guess, I mean, I like the idea of them. You know, the way a girl likes cowboys. The phoenix is good. Is this a new topic? It's the same topic. We're still talking about finals games. We can talk about something else if you'd like. No, it's just that since we started the conversation about Final Scrubs, I think I may have had another birthday. We can change the subject. So you're saying there's more people in China with genius IQ levels than the entire It's about population. exclusivity. God, what is? The Final Clubs. I mean, the Phoenix is about diversity. There's the Fly Club and Roosevelt punched the pork. Which one? The porcelain. The pork. It's the best of the best. No, I meant which Roosevelt? Theodore. So, okay, which one is the easiest to get into? Hmm. What? Why'd you ask me that? I was just asking. Well, none of them are easy to get into. I mean, my friend Eduardo made $300,000 betting on all futures over the summer, and even he won't be. Just because you've got money or the ability to make it, it doesn't mean anything here. I mean, everybody can do that. He made $300,000 in a summer? He likes meteorology. I thought you said it was oil futures. If you can predict the weather, then you can predict the price of heating oils. And the only reason you're asking me that anyway is because you think that the final club that's easiest to get into is the one where I'll have the best chance. I... I'm lost again. You asked me that because you think the clubs that are easiest to get into are the ones where I'll have the best chance. The one that's easiest to get into, anybody has the best chance to get into. I'm just saying, the way that you asked the question, the way that you placed the question... Honestly, was... I'm just asking, okay? I'm asking just to ask. Mark, it's not like I'm speaking in code. Erica. You have finals clubs, OCD, you're obsessed with them, okay? You, you need to go and see someone that can prescribe you some sort of medication. You don't care if the side effects may include blindness, okay? Just go and do it. It's final clubs, not finals clubs. And there is a difference between being motivated and being obsessed. Yeah, there is. Well, that was, you know, that was cryptic. So you do speak code. I didn't mean to be cryptic. I'm just saying I'm going to have to do something substantial in order to get into the clubs. Why? Because they're exclusive and they're fun and they lead to a better life. So you think Teddy Roosevelt was elected president because he was part of the Phoenix Club? He was part of the porcelain, and yeah, I do. Maybe he was part of an acapella group. Erica, I'm gonna be straight with you and tell you that I think you should be a lot more supportive. If I get into these clubs, I'll be taking you to the parties and you'll be meeting people that you wouldn't otherwise normally get to meet. You'd do that for me. You're my girlfriend. Well, I wanna be straight with you and tell you that I'm not that anymore. <laughs> what are you talking about? I am not your girlfriend anymore. Is this a joke? No, I'm sorry, it's not. You're breaking up with me. You're gonna introduce me to people that I wouldn't normally get the chance to meet? I mean, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Take it easy. What is that supposed to mean? I'm just... The only reason that we're sitting here at this bar having drinks is because you used to sleep with the doorman. I'm gonna try really hard not to lose it right now, okay? 
The door guy, his name is Bobby. I haven't slept with the door guy. The door guy is a friend of mine. He happened to be a perfectly decent class of people. Okay, exactly what part of Frankston are you from anyway? England? I'm from Turak. Going back to the door. Wait, wait, is this real? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm going back to my dorm. I have to study. Nice. Erica. Yeah. I'm sorry I mean it. I appreciate that, but I have to study. You don't have to study. Come on, let's just talk. I can't. Why? Because it is exhausting. Going out with you is like dating a stairmaster. I wasn't. I was just saying that you go to BU, so it's not likely that I wasn't making a comment on your parents. I was saying that you go to BU. I have to study. You don't have to study. How do you know that I don't have to study? Because you go to BU. Do you want to get some food? I'm sorry that my education doesn't sufficiently impress you. I'm sorry that I don't own a rowboat. I think we should just be. I don't need friends. I was just being polite. I have no intention of being friends with you. You're really leaving. Listen, you're going to go through your entire life thinking the girls don't want to date you because you're some sort of tech geek, okay? And I want you to know from the bottom of my heart that that just won't be true. It'll be because you're a fucking asshole. <laughs>